Good morning. It's Thursday. Happy Thursday. Jeez, JJ. All right, Snorty. Sit. Stay. Feed the turtle. Yesterday at the gym, the fitness instructor said that um, my form was good and that I do a good job. I worked out good, in other words. So, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I've been doing it long enough, honestly. Mom said she'd work out with me, but she hasn't contacted me to, uh, you know, to set up a time, which makes me sad, because I want to wanna work out more. I'm only giving you greens this time, Herbster. That's all you get. I'm going to get you some more water, too. I'm gonna give you a Benadryl. You're very sneezy this morning. You okay? <sighs> Alright, um. I don't remember. I gotta go pee. Okay, bye. I went late, I think, back to break. Just by a minute, it's all right. Uh, I made this for breakfast. In, I have the little tortillas, and um, I made a it's cheese egg and cheese in between, and it got all fluffy. It's deflating right now a little bit, but I thought that was fun. How cute is that? It's getting all fluffy, and now that's fun. Anyways, that's my breakfast. I don't want to work, and I just volunteered to do an over an hour of overtime, an hour of overtime tonight. But you know, maybe I'll change my mind. I don't know uh, about doing the overtime. Not doing. No, I want to do the overtime. It's only an hour. And I don't have any plans in tonight, and also it's, uh, what is today? Thursday. I forgot what I was going to say. My brain is dead. You know what? I'm just going to go back to work. Okay, bye. Oh, my God. It's so wet outside. But you know what? I am so glad it's not snow. That's what I'm so glad about. It's going to be a snowy January, probably. I really don't want snow. I don't want it. I hate it. Snow. Ugh. But it probably will. I mean, I do live in Wisconsin, after all. Oh, southern Wisconsin. I remember back in my childhood when I loved to go outside and play in the snow. Now... I don't, I don't know when that changed, because at some point it changed where I just didn't want to be outside in the snow. It was cold and wet and gross. And But when when did that change? Like when you were little, and you know, we would make snowmen or snow people. Um, I remember one time I made Tigger in the snow. Um, I was going to do more, but we ran out of snow. <laughs> So that didn't work out so well. Plus it was cold. Um, 
Come on, JJ. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here she comes. Hi, JJ. Oh. Come on. There we go. Um. Yeah, so snow used to be fun. And when you're older, snow is not fun. However, what I do need to do this year when we do get a big pile of fresh snow is make snow ice cream. This is what dad would make when we were younger. Take a fresh pile, big fresh pile of snow, like big, because it'll melt down. But anyways, you take a big fresh pile, the whitest, cleanest snow you could possibly get. You mix in sugar, um, uh, evaporated milk, and vanilla, so good. That is, is what we used to do when we were little. All right, I'm gonna finish these dishes. Emptied the dishwasher, my first break. Now I will load the dishwasher. Okay, okay. All right, I don't know if you can see this. My nose is actually, look at, you see the white and the black specks. So, I had put a hot cloth on there, and I'm gonna do a uh, pour strip. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit. I didn't crack it like I was supposed to. Anyways, uh, we're gonna let that sit, and then I'll take it off, and we'll see. We'll see the contents. I don't think it wasn't on that good. But look what I did get. I did get some. See it sticking out? No, because it's all blurry, that's why. Come on. Focus. Focus. Anyways, I'm going to do it again on my next breaks. I didn't get a good seal right here on the tip. Oh, look at that from my glasses. Just an indent. This is terrible. I feel, I feel the indent. On my glasses. Oh yeah, looking at yourself close up is kind of um discouraging a little. Yeah, that's all I got. All right, let's try this again. Just out the hot cloth. Put it on your base for a little. Your nose. You see these, um, like it has these splits. You gotta make sure they're split open. I didn't do that last time, so it didn't, like, stay well. Okay, so damp nose. Okay. And there we go. That is better. Yes. Much better. Yes. Alright. Now we've got a good a good uh, seal or whatever you want to call it. Okay. I also want to uh, wax my chin hairs. It's my last break. I hope it goes by fast because I don't want to work anymore. I'll do as much as I can and work, but I don't want to work. I don't want to do any more work. I stopped. Uh, I uh, canceled my voluntary overtime. I don't want to do it. 
kidding me now. I hear you. Is it? Oh yeah. Meow. You meowing for? Get your wax strip. I feel like I have a lot of hairs, but I don't. I don't think I do. look so great. I look so great. Ow! I got a few hairs there. Hey kitty. Ouch. A few more hairs there. A kitty, you out of water or something? Probably. Oh, got one here. A few more hairs there. See, a few hairs. Yeah, I got chin hairs. I still got chin hairs right here. I feel it. Probably not long enough. These ones. The problem with these chin hairs is they grow in different directions. So I never know. Yep, got them. I never know like which direction to pull. I think I got them. Meow. What do you want, cat? <sighs> the dog went upstairs. She's probably trying to eat her food. Let's see if I get rid of my mustache. Ah, yep. Cool. so much hair. See, here's my mustache hairs. Yep. I don't know why the hormones going crazy, I guess. So many hairs and weird places that I don't want. I don't want hairs. So when I combed out my hair, I did it with a comb. Look at, I pulled, see that knot? was holding all this together and I had pulled it out. It's terrible. Terrible, just terrible. Do you like my head, my head, my hair piece thing? Just to hold my hair back while I do face stuff. Yeah, it's cute, I know. It's been on for a while, so my hair is a little strange. Oh yeah, there we go. Yes! Excellent. Loving my hair long these days. So, cow car? I don't know. There's something going on. Sirens all over the place. Okay, well, um... Yeah, this will be dry before I get back to my desk. I think it's good now, actually. It dries pretty quick. This is one of those charcoal ones. Okay. Oh. It feels better. I got some. You that? Yep, got some uh, white heads or whatever. 
So then after, since I've done that, I'm going to wash my face. Um, I don't want to do it now. I'll wash it after I'm done with work. I'll do a facial. Meow. I'll do um with this, with the, the Aveeno Positively Radiant Max Glow Peel Off Face Mask. I'll do that later tonight. That'll be fun. Right? Let me find out what the cat eats. Coming. What do you need? My butt cheeks hurt so not hurt, but they burn so much from all the squats and stuff I did yesterday. What is it, kitty? What are you missing? No food and water. Alright, I'll take care of it. You're welcome. Well fine. Be that way. Let's go back downstairs. Turn out lights, cause you know, we don't wanna waste electricity. Okay. Pretty sure it's time to get back to work. Let's see. 12 minutes, 13 minutes, so I got two more minutes. Then I go back to work. Good evening. Welcome to my kitchen. Tonight, we are making chicken masticholi, which is chicken with masticholi noodles. It sounds fancy, but it's really not. So I am, I have defrosted and I'm currently have on the stove um, to continue defrosting is the chicken. It's here. And that is, it's just got the lid on it so that, you know, it steams it, you know, and defrosts and cooks it in there. Uh, so instead of your usual tomato sauce, I am going to be making a, oh, I still Okay, um, I'm going to be making a type of tomato sauce, which is diced tomatoes. So I have one can of diced tomatoes. And, oh Lord! <laughs> oh, that's rotini. I'll put them right there. This box. Um, diced tomatoes and some other seasonings. Uh, currently, I just have the diced tomatoes. Out. I gotta wait till the chicken is done. Then I am also boiling the water so I can pick, so I can cook my masticholi. Um, so I'm gonna pick out my seasonings now. There is an issue I am having because the chicken that I have purchased uh, apparently is not boneless. I thought I purchased boneless chicken, but I did not. So um, when this is done, it's also not skinless, but that's okay. Boneless chicken, boneless skinless chicken breast would be the best. Unfortunately, that's not what I have. So once this is all done, you can see the steam is rising up there. Once that's done, um, I'll j I will have to debone debone my chicken. All right, my water for my pasta is boiling. It's time to put in my noodles. All right. So my chicken and my noodles are done. Well, my noodles are practically done. <sighs> Let's try it. Just transferring it to a bigger pot. Here you go, JJ. 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 There you go. My little vacuum down there. Clean up my messes. 
doodles got stuck. I should have started with the bigger pot, but whatever. It is what it is. I'm going to use this pot now to make the sauce. Sauce again will start with a can of diced tomatoes. My noodles got stuck. Are you kidding me? Fine, whatever. Alright. I didn't drain the water in here. Um, what I want to do, I don't need that. What am I? This needs to be turned off. This needs to be over here. So, in my big pot, with my chicken and my noodles. Um, ow, hot. So you're gonna add, I've got too many things, hold on. Oh, watch out, JJ. Uh, yes. We're gonna open this can of diced tomato. can do it the right way. <laughs> can of diced tomato. I did it. All right. See? There we go. And then, with your can of diced tomato directly into the pot, this needs to be turned. You put your pot on like medium. Stir in your diced tomato. Just like that. Then, to add with your diced tomato, chopped spinach. I didn't have any fresh. Do you have fresh baby spinach or chopped spinach? Those are better. But I have the frozen bag. I'll just loosen that up. Cut it open. My scissors. <sighs> okay. These are steamable. If you want to just spinach, you could do that. But put your frozen spinach or your fresh spinach right in there too. We're gonna mix that up as well. I did again. I did not uh, drain my pasta. I'm thinking I probably should have. Oh well. It's too bad. So sad. All right. So you mix that up. Break the chunk. Break the chunks. I still got my heat on. Not on high, it's on uh, medium. Alright, so. Then. You could add. If you have a white sauce or an Alfredo sauce, you can add that to it. I don't have that. What I do have. Do JJ, there you go. What I do have is Parmesan cheese, which is where I also have, oh good, I have some this too. Let me know, put that in there. white sauce 
when I don't have one, or at least to make it like I white, have a white sauce. Two cheeses. I've got a little bit of mozzarella. There's some Parmesan cheese. And your sour cream. That's right, sour cream. So you take your sour cream. Put that in there. Put in probably, I'm thinking half cup to a cup, depending on, it looks about half cup, I think, what I put in there. I don't measure when I'm cooking. I go by smell. Smell and sight, and this looks pretty good. So, you mix that in, make sure that's all incorporated. <laughs> I'm vacuuming. See that now I'm looking here, it doesn't look creamy enough. So we're going to add some more sour cream. Another scoop. About like that. Hey, look, I'm out of focus. Hello. About like that. Okay, that should be enough sour cream. All right. Mix that in. Yeah. So the leftover water I have down there, it's going to act kind of to dilute sour the thickness of any kind of sour cream or cream heavy cream that you put in there so make it more of a a light sauce if you will so yeah probably a good idea anyways i would like to have more chicken in here but since it's not boneless i'm not going to deal with it okay so then Then you're going to put in your mozzarella cheese, mozzarella, doesn't matter what order you put it in, put in your cheeses, I'm just putting in all my cheeses, you can do cheddar, if you've got cheddar. I prefer, if I'm going for an Italian flavor, to use the uh, typical Italian cheeses, mozzarella, provolone if I had it, parmesan, uh, you know, the Italian cheeses. Alright, mix that all together, get that to go. The parmesan cheese doesn't melt like the mozzarella does. So don't expect it to get uh, stringy. Won't happen. Oh yeah, that's a good sound. All right. So then, oh, what I, I have not seasoned my sauce, which is that stuff I'm mixing in. So that's not what I need. Yes, it is. Get yourself some garlic cloves, fresh, or in this case, a jar, jar of garlic. Not a whole jar, just... Uh. Be right back. Okay, so, you can take the equivalent, if you have the fresh garlic, like the garlic cloves, I would say two to three cloves of garlic, crushed, or minced, whatever. Uh, this one, I'm just gonna do a big scoop. I'm making a lot of food. It's just me and Russ, but I'm making a lot. Leftovers and all. Put your garlic in there. Then you're gonna put in, um, I'm using seasoned salt. 
Lowry's, whatever. This is not Lowry's. This is Stone Mill, which is the, um, uh, who are they? All these brand. Don't have to use a lot. Some flavor in there. Okay, and we want to put in, if you want to put in fresh onion, great. I didn't chop any, so I'm not doing that. I'm doing minced onion from the jar or whatever. Put in a bunch. All right. We're going to mix all that together. Mix, and mix, 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 mix. Smells so good in here, you don't even know. All right, so my spinach is done. When I had put it in frozen, now it's not frozen. And my noodles are all cooked up. The excess water has been used. I do have some chicken in there. All right, now you wanna see what it looks like. So I'm bringing you over here. There, see? This is chicken. Oh, uh, what was the noodle? Mastacholi. Spinach chicken spinach mastacholi. So there we go. That's it. Super easy, super quick. Uh, well, it's quicker if you defrost your chicken beforehand and have your ingredients ready. I did not, so I did the easy way and all that kind of stuff. But it's going to be delicious. That's it. I'll talk to you later. Oh, my phone is going to die. I am going to play video games and then I'm going to go to bed. So... On that note, have a good night. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Toodles.